Hey guys, welcome back to Bright Night Tech. My name is Berto and today we're looking at my new 3D printing project and it's an Iron Man helmet. Uh, the file is by Max 7th on Thingiverse and yeah, this is gonna be my first Iron Man helmet. I learned a lot from doing the Daredevil cowl, so we'll see how those skills translate to this. Um, I've already had a few issues printing out all the parts, but I'll show this to you and tell you kind of the things I've been dealing with. Uh, and then in the next video, we'll kind of get right into the sanding and to more of the construction. So uh, let's take a look and see what it looks like right now. All right, so let's start with the pieces that I printed out. So first thing I did was the front mask. Now, Frankly Built has a really good video about uh, placement on your 3D printer so you can use the least amount of supports and the least amount of um, filament. Uh, so I went ahead and, and watched his video and followed his technique which is basically you're printing it at an angle like this so it's getting supports through the front because if you do it this way you're gonna use a ton of filament because it's just gonna fill up this whole back part to support it so that really saved me a lot of time and filament. So this came out pretty good. Uh, you can see some markings right here of where the the uh, supports, but other than that, it, it turned out really, really well. All right, now here are the ears. Now I printed them just like this, but I didn't realize that there was, not hollow, but there was like a lip here when you print them up upwards like this. So I should have used supports, I didn't, so you could see some fraying here. But other than that, it turned out pretty pretty okay. Not, not a huge problem, they turned out fine. Here's the jaw part right here. That turned out really well, no problems with that. The back of the helmet part, like this. Also turned out really well, no issues. So there's the main part of the helmet I'll put it up on the screen right now. The problem I had was with uh, Cura, it would only let me print it in a certain angle. And so the first time I did it, this happened. And essentially, it the print failed. This is all, all supports. And here you can see the side of it. And here's the other side. And then this was a part of the mask that went like this. Basically what happened was that there wasn't enough holding this down. There wasn't enough of a, a rim and it got knocked off. So then it just started printing like crazy and it messed up. And this was already like a couple hours in. So that was really disappointing. I repositioned it and I was able to get it to print, but I had to do it in that weird um, angle like this. Now it looks okay, but if we take a closer look, you can see these lines right here. Those are basically gaps in between the print. So I'm not sure if there was a, a line that escaped or something happened, or just the, the way I had it positioned, didn't, it didn't like it. The other issue was when I was printing it like this, this part is not supposed to be separate. This part is supposed to go right here, and it's supposed to be all one piece. But something happened during the print. There was some kind of gap in between here, and I'm not really sure how that happened. So that's annoying. That's a whole thing. Um, I did notice that if I use the Creality Slicer, it did let me print it normal like this. Um, I didn't want to use two separate slicers because I thought the quality was going to be different. I don't know. I should have just done it that way if it was going to be easier. But um, so I used up a lot of filament. So I didn't want to try to reprint it because I had already spent this took two days to print. Um, so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to try to reattach this part and hope I can do it because if you look inside it's just a mess and it's a little fragile inside so what I've been doing is 
I'm, I'm really just making it up as I go. I'm using some Mod Podge to try to fill in the gaps, to try to give some structural uh, strength, I guess you could say, um, just so it could be a little stronger because it does feel kind of flimsy. Um, and I'm afraid of when I'm gonna try to sand it down. The next step was also to use uh, wood filler, which I would use anyways, um, but that's gonna be a whole thing. So I do have a new tool I was gonna use. I'm gonna um, melt the parts together as opposed to just glue them like I normally would, uh, like I did with my Daredevil cowl. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. Um, but I'm gonna try to melt the pieces together as kind of welding them together and seeing how well that holds. And I'm gonna try to fix all of this. Um, if you have done this file, uh, let me know um, what you did. Uh, something else I noticed was these gaps right here. I thought maybe because this was maybe meant to be used with the the electronic mask lift thing, but I realized that um, you don't really need these gaps if you are doing that. So I'm not really sure why they're there. So what I think I might end up doing is just printing out flat pieces of plastic and then just gluing them here to fill in that gap. Um, Cause otherwise I'm not really sure why it's there. Cause after you fill in everything, that gap is right there and I'm not really sure why. If you know what, put in the comments below. So yeah, I mean, that's basically the issues I'm running into right now. Um, this guy is gonna be the biggest pain to do and make sure I don't break it. I have an inkling that I'm probably gonna break it. I know it's a little pessimistic, but it's it just, I don't know, if you guys look at it, it's pretty flimsy. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I'm very excited about just working on this front piece though. Um, that's gonna be fun. Uh, I'm not making this to be able to be worn, especially after seeing the this top issue. Um, so it's definitely just gonna be a display piece, just like the Daredevil uh, cowl. So um, it's not gonna be electronic either. Well, I mean, it's not gonna have the faceplate that goes up. It is going to have the LED lights that I'll put in for eyes. Um, but that's it. It's just strictly gonna be display piece. Um, so that's part one, just getting these pieces printed. It took me about a week to do all of them. Um, and then, like I said, this big piece was the one that took the longest for, as two days and didn't come out right. So we'll see. Um, next time I will um, show you guys some of the sanding and some of the uh, wood filler part as I try to fix this part. Um, I might leave that that's the last piece I work on. Stick around, let me know what you think. Um, put some comments if you have any suggestions or if you've done this file before. And hopefully it turns out okay. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, go ahead and put in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications and I will see you next time. Uh, I hope I don't mess this up. <laughs>